Let me paint you a picture. It's the year 2050 and there is a global pandemic. Sound familiar? But this pandemic isn't viral, it's bacterial, and there are 10 million people dying per year. That's more than current cancer deaths per year, plus COVID-19 deaths so far. And with our current trajectory, antimicrobial resistance will lead to this exact scenario. Imagine if you went to the doctor tomorrow with tonsillitis and they told you there were no antibiotics that could save you. This is not a far-off possibility, as hospitals worldwide currently have no antibiotics to fight some of the bacteria they are facing. You may think, just make a few more antibiotics. But if you were a pharmaceutical company, would you prefer to make short, cheap courses of antibiotics or chronic disease management medication, which is expensive and taken over decades? Because of this lack of financial incentive, there are very few antibiotics in the pipeline today. But good news, there is hope. My research is looking at how combinations of antibiotics can be used to develop new effective antibiotics. For over 70 years, patients have been administered antibiotics in combination because they work better together than separately, an effect known as Synergy. I am hoping that Synergy can save our antibiotics, like it did for penicillin. This antibiotic, the first ever discovered, today has worldwide mass resistance and is virtually ineffective on its own. But when clavulanic acid is added, this antibiotic distracts the cell's resistance response, allowing for penicillin to take effect. The two antibiotics together are a standard treatment for tonsillitis today. Unfortunately, we still have no idea how many combinations of antibiotics are working, and my research is determining this on a molecular level. I am using genetic techniques to look at all the bacterial genes at once to find out which ones are being targeted by the antibiotics. What I have found so far is quite surprising. There are some genes which are not targeted by the antibiotics individually, but as soon as the antibiotics are combined, these genes become important. And this is huge because it means we might be able to identify the genes in which resistance may develop before it does and could mean targets for new antibiotics. In fact, our lab has discovered the first ever synergy-specific resistance genes, and we are currently testing them in the lab and in animal models. So, you may be thinking, I never get tonsillitis, this won't affect me. But antibiotics underpin much of modern medicine, including chemotherapy, routine surgery and childbirth. Without these miracle drugs, these life-saving procedures will become life-threatening. So... As antibiotics are the soldiers in the fight against this bacterial pandemic, my research is giving them and us a better chance at survival.